Hi all, welcome to another video. The Saab 90 was the first car I've ever owned, just two months after I got my driver's license. I have owned several of them, three in total, and man I miss this car as it was so much fun and reliable to drive because of the relatively simple mechanics. This video is a small tribute to this special car. And without further ado, let's get into it. Back in December of 2003, I went to the dealership somewhere in the south of the country to pick up my first car, the Saab 90. I never saw a car like this before. The shape was a bit odd to me, but for a first car, I was eager to drive it back home anyway. This impression was not only limited to the outside looks of the car, but the interior was somewhat unique as well because of the dashboard design and the position of the key contact between the front seats. Sadly, the roof carpet was hanging down and this seemed to be a common issue of this type of car because of bad gluing, but it didn't stop the fun anyway. In the first hour of driving, I was impressed by the handling and behavior of the car. The driving was smooth and steady. Halfway back home, I needed to stop at the gas station to fuel up the car. I couldn't get the keys out of the contact unit. I thought the car was broken at this point. But after 20 minutes of struggle, I found out from the car manual that I had to put the car in reverse to be able to remove the key. So as many may know, the body of the Saab 90 is a combination of the front of the 99 model and the backside of the 900 model. It was produced in Finland between 1984 and 1987. This front wheel driven car was fitted with the 4 cylinder 2.0 liter Saab H engine and the Senate carburetor that produced about 100 horsepower in total. The early models had a 4-speed gearbox, but the one I owned all had the 5-speed gearbox. The Saab 90 was in my opinion a very reliable car. Due to the limitation of electronical parts, the car was mainly mechanical engineered. That being said, in the years I owned these cars, the only issue I had were a broken mechanical fuel pump and a dysfunctional speedometer. The girling front brakes were not that great as sometimes the calipers got stuck. But besides this, it was mostly just usual maintenance that was common to every car of that time. As you may have noticed from some of the footage so far, I went on holidays to the southern of France twice and the car never let me down. After owning the 90 for a few years, I had many more Saabs like the 99, the 900, the 9000 and currently both the old and the new model 93. But it's unnecessary to say that the 90 was the car that got both me and my brother hooked to this brand. In this old footage uh, that I recently found on my computer, we are doing a small round trip in the area with both of our cars. And that brings us to the end of this video. Let me know in the comment below what got you into Saab and if you still drive one today. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel to not miss out any of the future content. Thank you for watching.